Hi, I'm Peter Haddock and I'm here with Chris Gill at the CPA conference this year where we're talking about the challenges in the panel discussion that the industry faces moving forward. You know, and there was a lot of people talking about how do we develop the industry and how do we meet some of those challenges. You, know, you talked quite a lot about the fleet element of it for the start off. Tell me about some of your thoughts with, with the fleet piece. I think uh, in, a, in a challenging time, uh, it gives you time to reflect on the fleet, what you're, what you're running, what you'd like to be running, what you, what you might have too many of, what you, you sometimes even when in a busy time, you don't even you forget how many of a certain product you have. You, <laughs> you kind of have some demand and you buy and your fleet navigates in a direction that you might not be kind of not unhappy with, but maybe you, you kind of want to rein it back in a certain direction. So I think we're in, uh, in, a, in a year where there's a little bit more time to reflect. We're, we're probably, uh, as an industry, not growing at the same rapid rate that we have done post-Covid, uh, it just gives you a little bit more time to reflect and a little bit more time to, to maybe put those things into place that you wanted to do over the previous couple of years on your fleet, but you've just been too busy to too busy to implement them. And you mentioned um, you know auctions filling up with, with products of the likes of Ritchie Brothers um, and you know other industries, not just in the UK but globally, changing their mix and using that time. It's, it's really important, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. I, I think um, the, the kind of auctions being busy and the online advertisement being busy, like maskers and stuff, I think it's a, it's a sign of the times. I think it's a sign that we're a little bit quieter. It's not a UK problem. No, no. Uh, it, it's, a, it's a UK challenge, but it's a global problem. I think, I think if you look at the amount of construction going on across all the all the bigger countries across the, the world, it's not at the level it's been for the last five to, to ten years. So um, I think I think that brings its own challenges, but it also brings opportunities. As a couple of the other guys on the panel spoke, like, there's always opportunities, and as an industry, we're very resilient, and uh, we've just got to take some of those opportunities and, and, and go and deliver on them. And then this is why we talked about a lot in the panel for obvious reasons. We're talking to people yeah. and now we're talking about people. And, you know, knowing Lynch myself, there's been a huge investment in training and development at every level, not yes. just bringing someone in to be an operator, but upskilling for that sort of technology future, yeah. where actually one of the panelists did say, you know, we're behind the curve on adoption of technology. Yeah. You know, so what are your thoughts on that? I think I think as an industry we probably are uh, as the construction industry we probably are behind the technological curve should we say um, as, as a business I can only say that we've absolutely embraced it in the last yeah. five years probably and maybe longer than that um, that we've got to give our people the best best options and the best ways of delivering success internally and for themselves uh, so whether it's adoption of uh, new technology, machine control, or yep. auto idling, or, or, or all the different types of stuff that our operators need, along with, we were one of the first companies to bring out PDA systems for our lorry drivers, both on our haulage side and our transport side. So you, you've, got to, you've got to have your own principles that you believe in. Uh, we definitely believe in uh, people first. We know yep. if our people can be the best, at what, the best at what they do, they will help us as a business along our journey. Um, but but we but technology is one of one of our pillars that we've got to embrace the digital the digital change. There was comments about AI, which was really really interesting there as well. And I think it was great that the that the audience was so uh, so involved and asked so many great questions. Yeah, and I think what's really good to see is like how we are taking that journey. We we are accelerating. I think COVID helped the whole construction industry yeah. say we can do things better and safer. And we are seeing AI come into safety systems. Yeah. You're at the, right. the forefront of things like that AI, with the likes yeah. of Safety Shield. And you know, for me it still comes back down to the people. And I think, you know 100%. the one point one thing from you where do you think we how can we attract more people, not just young people, yeah. but anybody into our industry? What's the one thing we should do? Can give you two answers. Go on then. <laughs> um, I, I think we've got to start attracting younger people. Right. There's there's no good telling people at 16, 18 that they can come and work in the plant high sector. By then they've probably got an idea of what they what they want to do. We've got to we've got to target younger people and, and give I, I think about my three children being between the ages of, of nearly nine and two. They, yeah. Kind of the two year olds probably a little bit, a little, a little bit young, but, but the eight year old, like she understands now that she that she can work in construction yeah. uh, versus 
I, my, my two older sisters when I was there, when I was a child, like they, they probably didn't really think it was an option. So we've got to target the, the primary school kids, the middle school kids, the junior school children. We've got to go after them guys and, and make construction fun and interesting because it is a great industry to work in. Um, the second part of it, Peter, is you just got to continually work on the people you've got, yeah. and you've got to you've got to make they're your biggest role. They're the ambassadors, hundred yeah, 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 percent, yeah, yeah. and, and that also includes people that leave the business to yeah. to go for new opportunities. That there are alumni of people. They'll, they'll yeah, work, yeah. I worked at Lynch, and they'll talk about their time really, really fondly. And when we uh, when we do uh, interviews yeah. at Lynch, we always show people around. Yep. And the one comment that we always get is everybody's so happy and smiling and engaged with what they do. And we don't tell them to do that. <laughs> yeah, you yeah, must yeah, smile. You yeah. send an email <laughs> out Text to everybody. Smile yeah. now. Yeah, I, yeah. Think, I think that's generally the culture yeah, exactly. that we've bred that. and the family's bred over the last 40 years. But yeah. it, it's, our, it's, it's like our biggest pillar if we can, if we can really nail the, the people's enjoyment of what they do and give them the technology to uh, adopt early because also a lot of our guys whether they're operators on the, on the ground or it's our, our office teams they, they're interested in, in how they become better yeah, yeah. they're interested in oh there's a new technology can I be the one that trials that they yeah. stick their hands up we have operators sending us stuff in that they've seen online our staff have seen online we, we, we want to be a sharing business so the more you can the more you can focus on on all of those elements you just make marginal gains but we've got to make the with the industry more attractive we've got to talk about the positives of it we've got to make it make it uh, um, we've got to make sure that people know that they can earn a really good salary yeah, they yeah. can earn great money they can work local they can work far away they can travel yep and they can pick these skill sets up at any time and emigrate to the other side of the world and they can work exactly. in plant hire and they can work in construction Chris, really it is really important. These are skills for life, and you know you you've had a good living out of the industry. Oh, You're great. a big supporter of it. It's great to talk to you as ever. Thank you. Cheers. Jesus. Cheers.